all prepared and ready from his studio right there. All right, so Julian Mather has seen the world through many lenses, through a telescopic side as an army sniper. Interesting. And through the TV lens as a globe tro uh, as a globe trotting uh, videographer for ABC TV, National Geographic, as well as BBC. All right, so he became a sniper twice. All right, first <laughs> sniper and then started shooting. To the smoke and mirrors as a professional magician, he has also travelled far, but his longest journeys have been from behind the camera to in front of it, from the stutterer to a professional speaker, from too polite deep eater to insatiable humorous addict. Now his focus now is helping business professionals who find video too technical. How many of you here find videography or just doing your video too technical? Alright, so this is the session for you. If you don't feel comfortable in front of the camera and uh, you don't know what to do uh, or what to say to create authentic videos that earn more trust, more authority, more clients, then you are in the right place. So without further ado, let's put our, put our hands together and welcome Julian Bathla. Create your showreel now. Over to you, Julian. Oh, thank you so much. Can I see a wave of hands just to see that you can see and hear me clearly? Yeah. Oh, we're on. Welcome, Malaysia. Thank you so, so much for inviting me. Do you know what? You guys have the best food in the world. And when I go through Malaysia, just this is, this is where you make me happy through here. So well done, you. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about creating a virtual showreel and why you should do it now. So that's a good place to start. Why? Why should we make a virtual showreel? Because virtual and hybrid is not going away. Now, you know this uh, and companies know this as well. And one of the reasons, and I just heard this recently, and this is really interesting, is that now with carbon credits, companies can't afford to send people everywhere, so there's going to be a lot more reliance on them doing part of uh, their uh, presentation work and doing it virtually. So you are leaving money on the table. I don't know what percentage of your business it will be, but there is money and it will be in the tens of thousands of dollars that you are leaving on the table if you are not attending to virtual. So it's your choice. Right now you can choose to be invisible because if you're not doing virtual and you don't have a virtual showreel, you will remain invisible. Or you can be the one, the trusted authority that people want to do business with. But why aren't you doing it? Well, I'm going to go through a couple of problems here that I'm finding most speakers have. The first one is perfectionism. Put your hands in the air so I can see you like that if you suffer from perfectionism. Yeah, come on, the rest of you too. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, perfectionism holds this back. But here's the thing. Uh, customer expectations have changed. Client behaviour has changed. You no longer need to be perfect. So, you can make a video that is done by you, sure. You can get someone else to work with you on it and do it with you, sure. You can get it done for you. Don't actually recommend that, but you can do it. But the most important thing is done is better than none. Because I'm going to ask you, how's your virtual show reel working for you so far? If you've got one, it's probably working okay. But if you don't have one, you know where you're sitting at the moment. So done is better than none. And keep that in the back of your mind for this next 30 minutes or so. Problem number two that we have is that I find speakers, no, not just speakers, it's broader than that, are making their show reels for the wrong client. You see, they spend or oh, maybe a week hmm, thinking about the music they're going to put on their show reel, and then all the other bits and pieces and they're making the classic mistake you are not your customer you are not your client your decisions actually matter very very little in the products you make so who is your client 
Well, your client is probably like this. Your client is not a decision maker. When you're making a virtual show reel, it's somebody who has been tasked to go and find a handful of speakers that might be suitable for our event. And what they're going to do is put you in with maybe two, three, four, five other speakers, and then they'll make the decision. So if you're making a virtual show reel, you make it for that person. And there you go, you don't embarrass me. Right? Like, they don't know about you and your speaking. They want to know that you're a, a subject matter expert, that you can present well. So you've got to show that in your reel. Then the next thing they want to know is this is not just going to be another Zoom session, is it? Because we're all tired of boring old Zoom sessions. So when we make a reel, we show them it's not another Zoom session. And the other thing that they want to do is that they want to know, can they shortlist you? And by that, I mean, can they put your video, is your video shareable? Is it easy for them to show somebody else? So we make the virtual reel that makes it easy for someone to share with a decision maker. So this is what we're going to do in the next 25 minutes or so. We're going to make a virtual show reel, and it is not going to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's going to be for clients. It's not going to be for you. It's not going to be for other speakers. It's going to be for the people who are initially going to be looking uh, at your show reel. And the other thing, it's going to be the one of two. Now, actually, I'd like to write that as one of many, because there's this confusion out there that people are, find, are going, what is the perfect length for a show reel? Well, the reality is, it's not just one virtual show reel. It's part of a body of work. So this show reel is a short show reel to get people interested, because you're not going to get booked on just your show reel. As soon as people are interested in you, they go online and they Google you. And so it's all about building a body of work. So don't get hung up and don't go, well, I'm just going to wait until I've worked out the perfect reel. It's not. This is one of many. Hands up if this is making sense. I just want to see. I'm asking for hands up there. Terrific. Because in my little window of you, you're small like that. If you do thumbs, I don't know what, what, what you'd be doing. Right, so this is what you're going to need to make a virtual uh, show reel for speakers. You're going to need a phone. Yeah, all smartphones are great. And just so you know, you're looking at me now on an iPhone 7. This is six-year-old technology. This is what I run my business on. So don't get it hung up. If you've got a fancy camera, you can use the webcam, you can use whatever you want. But if you've got a phone, you are way ahead. You need some internet because there's going to be software that you're going to use. And you're going to need a quiet spot. Can be difficult for people who live in dense populations like that, but that is very important. If you've got those three things, you're in the game to make a virtual show reel. Three steps we're going to follow to do this. We're going to make a script. Oh, very important. Then it's the production and then it's edit. And I'm going to talk about each of these three steps in the next 25 minutes. And this is my promise to you, is that whatever I ask you to do, I have done. And you can rest assured that when you're doing it, I'm right there beside you doing it as well. So what I'm telling you now is how I make videos. This is the type of video, these are the techniques and the tools that I use to run my business. So I'm not telling you to do one thing and I'm off doing something else. I want you to be rest assured that this is how this works. So why don't we start and let's go look at a virtual show reel. Now this virtual show reel I made for, for you, is, 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 it's a show reel where I'm in it, but I didn't make it for me. I made it as a training exercise. So I've actually built in uh, some errors in there, and I've done things where I've, I've, I've taken on the mindset of someone who doesn't have my knowledge or my experience or accessibility to uh, my situation. And so when you watch it, what I want you to, and we're gonna go through then and unpack it piece by piece, and I want you to understand is that 
it doesn't have to be perfect. It's the desired effect at the end. So, all right, let's get into it. Let's have a look at a virtual showreel. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I don't like virtual presentations. I love virtual presentations. My name is Julian Maker. I'm a keynote speaker who moves comfortably between the big stage and the small screen. I take my three decades of experience as an army sniper, a globetrotting cameraman and a magician, and then a decade of presenting videos in front of the camera. And then, Joe, I distill it all down into powerful virtual sessions that change how audiences think and feel about using video in their business. Hey, it's not another one of those Zoom sessions, is it? It's anything but. Audiences love the energy and they love the surprising insights, like you can win so much business with just a smartphone and a smile. Really? Yep, sure is. And they love the I can do it too feeling that they get. And they love that they get to laugh and learn at the same time. And this is all peppered with powerful signature stories and amazing magic tricks. And event planners love that I don't let them down. I have a robust studio set up with backup, so the show goes on. But don't take my word. There are not very many people in my mind that present so thoughtfully, beautifully, and uh, visually, like jaw-droppingly wow. And, and Julian, you're one of them. If you're looking for somebody to just wow your audience, Julian's the guy. So if you want help making in your event the one that people won't stop talking about, Here's my details, love to talk. So there you go. That's what we're going to unpack and that's what you can do. Now normally if I was in the room, I'd stop and ask you for, for thoughts, initial thoughts on that. But that's gonna slow the process down with this setup that we've got here. Uh, questions at the end, we can maybe work out some way that we can discuss it. But I just wanna see, was there anybody in there, in the audience, to raise your hand if you thought that was just terrible? If you thought it was awful, you can raise your hand. I don't know. Yeah, so generally, people think that that is, would be a useful tool for you to use as a speaker. So let's go through and unpack what we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is have a script. 200 words equals two minutes. This is the first thing that you should do. You should write down your script, what you think, and then do a uh, word count on it. And most people are gonna find you've got about 600 words, way too long. We wanna aim for roughly a short video. If you aim 200 words for two minutes, that video was 205 words, which was at a minute and 48 long. So this is very accurate. It puts you very closely within the ballpark of that you're going to uh, be able to make that video. This is the structure that I use. Tease, title, transformation, twist, teach, testimonial, task, and title. This works, uh, I use this uh, basic formula in a lot of videos. It works perfectly well for doing this virtual, sorry, virtual show reel. Uh, starts off with a tease. Do you want to get people's interest? How do you get people's interest? Really easy. Ask a question, share a secret, make a confession, or make a statement and then challenge that statement. And in the start of this video, that's exactly what I did. I did two of those. I said, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. There, I shared a secret. And then I said, I don't like virtual presentations. I love virtual presentations. I make it a statement and I challenged it. So you don't have to use any of these, but these, are, if, you're, if you want ideas, this is a fast start. The next thing is titles. Don't put titles in. Do you know what Netflix's most used feature is in the last 10 years? Skip intro. Titles are now a thing of the past. They just take up time. So we use this spot to introduce ourselves. So that's the way that I introduce myself. 
transformation. And I'm going to move through this fast because there's a lot that I want to cover, but I want to show you the potential and the possibility that you've already got there. Uh, then the next part is transformation. Uh, this is where we tell the audience, the viewer, what's in it for them. And we also use it to establish our credibility, to show them that they're in a safe pair of hands. So the first three lines there is I say, I take my three decades of experience as an army sniper, a globe-trotting cameraman and a magician, and then a decade of presenting videos in front of the camera. That's my credibility, that I know what I'm doing. And then I distill it all down into powerful virtual sessions and change audiences how they think and feel about using video in their business. That's the transformation. That's the transformation the audience will get, and that's the transformation that they'll get as well from watching this short video. And then I put a twist in, and the twist in is I voice their objections, because in this case, they're thinking, oh yeah, look, it sounds good, but is this gonna be another Zoom session? So this is the objection that I need. So I actually voice it in there. And then the next part is where we teach them. We tell them what's different about us, why they should, should book us in there. Then we add a testimonial. Uh, and as you saw in, in that, and I just say, but don't take my word for it. And we'll talk about these. These are called show and tell testimonials. Then the last thing I did there was a task, which is your call to action. And what do you want them to do next? What is the next step? And so I uh, basically said, if you want to uh, uh, contact me, here are my details below the video. I would love to chat. If you want, you can put a title on the end as a branding exercise, but my recommendation, one second long. Just a little donk or you know, a little stinger, something at the end. Uh, but mine, when you, if you and we'll watch this again later, is you'll see at the end, <laughs> I finish with a smile. There's nothing more powerful than this thing that we were born with that builds rapport with people. So if you want all that information, uh, that virtual showreel cheat sheet and the script and that rap, if you want that, go onto LinkedIn and if you think this is worthy, uh, leave me a recommendation. If you don't know how to do it, search how to do a recommendation. If you do that, I will send you this and a few more bits and pieces to help you get going. I think that's a fair trade. All right. Number two, let's go on and look at this video. How are we actually going to put this together and make it? What are the techniques that I used? So the first thing is I call white wall because a lot of people are in a situation where they've got an office or you're, you're in your apartment and all you've got is a white wall or a plain wall and you think, oh, it's so awful. And you know, it's not great, but we can make that white wall work for us and we can make it work for us in our favour. So just going to have a little look at what I did. now. I wore a red shirt in this. I never wear a red shirt. I don't like the colours, but you'll see how uh, I turned a white wall uh, into making it work for me. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I don't like virtual presentations. I love virtual presentations. My name's Julian Maynard. Right. So that was, now just to let you know, I, I shot that in my uh, area here, in my studio, just with the green screen behind me. And did you see my elbow? I put the arrow in and hit the elbow and chopped it off on the edge of the green screen. But nobody saw that. I mean, I bet you nobody saw that on their way through. So this is what I mean. You don't have to be perfect. You can have a whole lot of little, little mistakes, but don't focus on them. Focus on the whole at the end. Now. I wore the red shirt, so I put a red frame around me, and then I used a complementary um, um, colour green on it. I didn't like that, but but what I'm, and I'll show you now with a little tutorial exactly how you can use the white wall effectively. We found ourselves in the worst possible situation. We have to make a video. We've got a high value client, and we're stuck in our office. We're wearing our white shirt and we've got a small section of white wall. Maybe we're facing a window. What are we going to do? You're going to use a little bit of smart thinking. Dress in a solid color. Pick one accessory highlight color. Make sure that if you are in a small area like this, 
that you don't talk too far with your hands like this, keep it within the background color, just a little bit of discipline. Do not face the camera square on, square your, angle yourself off at about 45 degrees. And now we're going to put this into a simple editing program, do a little bit of resizing. We're going to add a block of color to the screen. Now this block of color is the color of my suit. Then the text we're going to use is the color of the background. And then the accent color is my accessory color. And as you can see, you get a very, very professional looking image. I would take this image to any corporate client and I would hold my head high. You do not have to pay big to play big on the small screen. So if you're in a small area, you know now that you can present and make a video and you don't need a big studio. The next thing I want to look at is B-roll. B-roll is other images and pictures that we put over your voice speaking to illustrate what you're talking about. I'm a keynote speaker who moves comfortably between the big stage and the small screen. I take my three decades of experience as an army sniper, a globetrotting cameraman and a magician, and then a decade of presenting videos in front of the camera. Now, I want you to look at this picture particularly. So if you want to show people that you're speaking on camera, just set this up, go borrow a camera, get your friends, stand in front of it and video to the back of the camera with you speaking. Do it on a different uh, a number of different cameras in different situations and then you can create your own B-roll or more illustrate, illustrated pictures to put over what you're speaking about. Green screen. Green screen can be a saviour. It can really help you. There are ways to do it well. Uh, I used it to make that entire video it was pretty much shot mainly on green screen. Now, and I did it right here, standing uh, behind me. Uh, this is the green screen I use. You don't, uh, and I'm, I've got no connection to these. I'm just letting you know this is what I use. Uh, but the images that you can put behind you, you know, when you saw me in different uh, office setups and that, go to unsplash.com. If you don't know about unsplash.com, it's brilliant. It's all these high quality photos that are free. It's a savior. I use it so often. Stock footage. So if you want to get other stock footage to illustrate uh, what you're talking about, Go to Envato Elements. Again, I have no connection with this at all, but Envato Elements, you can buy it by the month. It'll cost you about $40 for a month, but you can download as much as you want, and there's like millions on there. So it's all high quality video. So when you're ready to go, get a subscription for a month and then just um, um, uh, uh, cancel it. And you, know, you don't get charged anymore, it's very safe. And you can get everything you need. You even can get seven days at the start free, <laughs> which you can download whatever you want and just cancel the subscription if, if you wanted to do that. The interview guest, this is another way, if you don't have video uh, images of you speaking, is creative. So watch this. And then, Joe, I distill it all down into powerful virtual sessions that change how audiences think and feel about using video in their business. Now, some of you might know Joe Augustine. That, that, that was actually from an interview I did him, uh, with him elsewhere, but I just recorded that part of me speaking the script. That was my script for this video. But I made it in when I was in an interview situation. Now you can do that. If someone in your uh, in maps there runs a video podcast, you can set it up. You can create this yourself and mock it up and just create the graphics around it and set yourself up like you're being interviewed by someone, but you actually say the words of your script. So you're showing people, what are you showing them? It's not just another Zoom session. You're out there as a virtual speaker. That's what they want to know. Very easy way to set that up. Then we can have a magic conversation. <laughs> now, do you know that you have been indoctrinated into the language of film and TV? 
since you took your first breath, you were in front of a screen and your whole life, you've been watching this magic language of film and television and filmmaking on screen and you don't even know it. You watch a movie, someone will look at a plane ticket and it'll have Paris on it and then it will cut to the next scene and they're standing beneath the Eiffel Tower and we just think that's, that's normal. Imagine that happened in real life. You were standing with someone, you looked at a ticket and then you're in France. You go, ah! But when you see it happen on the small screen, we just accept this as normal. So we're going to leverage that and you can have magic conversations. You can play different parts of your script in different characters. So I'm going to play this segment again. It was recorded exactly where I'm standing. I just took on two different personas. I used Unsplash for the background, for the green screening, which was free. And this is what we got. Hey, it's not another one of those Zoom sessions, is it? It's anything but. Audiences love the energy. No, that was me with two lines. <laughs> I, I, I took on the businessman wanting to book, book you and wanting it wasn't a Zoom session. And then I came back as another uh, character as myself explaining it. Very easy to do. And you can have a bit of fun with that. Again, it shows people that this is not just another Zoom session that you're going to do. The magic cut is another one of these techniques of this language of film and TV and we can use this effectively. Now, there are many ways that you can do this. Uh, I use this, well, we'll watch it again. It's anything but. Audiences love the energy and they love the surprising insights. Like, you can win so much business with just a smartphone and a smile. So all I did was I had one line of my script. At the end of the line, I reached up and I put my hand completely over the lens. Then I changed, uh, I, I changed my clothes and I put a different picture behind me in the green screen and I recorded the next line, but I started with my hand over the lens and I brought it away. And it's just this magic, when you see it on the screen, you don't even question it. But it's a very, very effective tool uh, to make an impressive looking video. A white book yep, sure story is, and they love the I can do it too feeling that they get. And they love that they get to laugh and learn at the same time. And this is all peppered with powerful signature stories and amazing magic tricks. Right, so if you've got a white wall or any coloured wall, but you're going, oh, it's white and boring, we'll use that to effect. Stand to the side of the frame and then deliver your lines and afterwards in the edit, we'll put the graphics on. And so uh, they were testimonials again, but uh, I don't put testimonials in where it's just, okay, it's just a word, you know, people's testimonial, you've got music behind it. It's boring, it's slow keep advancing the narrative with what you're speaking about, but put the words, the, uh, uh, the testimonial words in there. Because you know what? We're smart. We can walk down the street and chew bubble gum at the same time. You can listen to me speaking and read words at the same time, and the two back each other up like that. And when you're recording those, you don't have to know exactly where to point I put them in the middle here, but I point the first one up there like that, the second one like that, and the last one, because I don't really know where it's going to go, I go and, and, I talk, and I point like this, which means it could be up there, it could be down there, so I'm not locking myself in. So that's white wall testimonials. Illustrative purposes only. A lot of, this is particularly when we're talking about the technical setup we've got. I see a lot of speakers go to all this trouble shooting their, their, you know, their, their cameras and their sound and their monitors and, and all this and trying to go, listen, you know, I'm set up properly. You don't have to do that. Watch what I do. And event planners love that I don't let them down. I have a robust studio set up with backup so the show goes on. I said, I won't let you down. I've got a robust studio with backup. They all stop footage from Envato. So you just go in there, find something, put it over the top. You're not lying. If you've got a gig with Microsoft, 
to speak to them and they were going to charge and they're going to pay you twenty thousand US dollars to do it, you would go to a, a professional studio and pay fifteen hundred dollars for the day or a half day or whatever it is and use their setup. So just because you're saying that you've got a robust setup event and you don't actually have one at home, you're not lying. You're just saying you will take the steps to make sure that you don't let them down. So don't have to go and have all this gear and be able to show it. Show and tell testimonials. Let's have a look. Don't take my word. There are not very many people in my mind that present so thoughtfully, beautifully and uh, visually kept, like jaw-droppingly wow and and Julian you're one of them if you're looking for somebody to just wow your audience Julian's the guy so that uh, that 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 there was a real testimonial that that happened and I it just happened I, I got the recording that was great um, but it was a very low quality bad testimonial but we want to have a video and, and get and, and Get someone to do it, to give them the words to say and make it short, make it the words that you want in the script that are going to advance it. But even if it's low quality, you can just dress them up. I always find if it's the bad quality, put make it black and white uh, and, and it, it comes up really well. But you've got to get people to show and tell and keep it short and keep it to drive the narrative ahead. And then at the task at the end is the call to action. So if you want help making your event the one that people won't stop talking about, here's my details. Love to talk. Hey, you like my house? No, that's a, that's a free image from Unsplash. You know, just me in front of the green screen there. But I put my details below. And when you're doing call to actions on video, if you've got a button below that you want people to click, you say, click the button below. Tell them where it is. If the button's at the side, tell them, click the button at the side. Or go to the details. If you're not sure where this is going to end up, when you record that bit, do multiple recordings. Do one, click the button below, click the button to the side, go to the details below, do it all at the same time, and then you've got the options at the end. And then when it comes to titles, don't. <laughs> don't, just move on, end on with this. And now we're going to go on to the editing. Editing, very, very easy. Don't. <laughs> You're wasting your time editing. You're no good at it. You don't have to be. There is an army of people out there. They do it from their lounge rooms, their bedrooms. They do it professionally. They do it in all different countries around the world. You can go onto all these services and get someone to do it for you. But what you have to do is you have to write that script and then you have to record the pieces here, and then this is a blueprint for the editor, and you will get something really good back. All right, one more time, we're coming up to the top of the clock here. With everything you've seen, just think about this through the eyes of someone trying to make a decision whether you're going to go out of the big pile into the shortest pile. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I don't like virtual presentations. I love virtual presentations. My name's Julian Mather. I'm a keynote speaker who moves comfortably between the big stage and the small screen. I take my three decades of experience as an army sniper, a globe-trotting cameraman and a magician, and then a decade of presenting videos in front of the camera. And then, Joe, I distill it all down into powerful virtual sessions that change how audiences think and feel about using video in their business. Hey, it's not another one of those Zoom sessions, is it? It's anything but. Audiences love the energy. And they love the surprising insights, like you can win so much business with just a smartphone and a smile. Really? Yep, sure is. And they love the I can do it too feeling that they get. And they love that they get to laugh and learn at the same time. And this is all peppered with powerful signature stories and amazing magic tricks. And event planners love that I don't let them down. I have a robust studio set up with backup so the show goes on. But don't take my word. There are not very many people in my mind that pre present so thoughtfully, beautifully, and 
uh, visually cap like jaw droppingly wow and and Julian, you're one of them. If you're looking for somebody to just wow your audience, Julian's the guy. So if you want help making your event the one that people won't stop talking about, here's my details. Love to talk. And that's it. That is how to make an imperfect virtual show reel. And remember that done is better than none. If you would like to follow up and if you want to get into the video game, come and join the new video professionals, absolutely free. It's a community, it's a safe space to get good at video. And if you want a concise guide to get going, go in and get press the, the red button. It's honestly the best thing that you can do. All right, with that, uh, we've uh, now top of the hour, I'm gonna hand back to you. I don't know whether we can do questions or there's any time, but with that, thank you so much, Maps. It was really, really, really very good. This is the second time that I think some of us are listening to him, and he's always generous with whatever he shares.